So hello, Makle. Welcome to Simplified Minds, and welcome to the next lecture on electrostatic and potential electrostatic potential and capacitance. So, in this lecture, we will discuss about you know uh, equipotential surface and the you know which is an important you know one mark or two mark question for your PUC board exam. You know, so this derivation usually comes sometimes for two or three marks. This is also important derivation relation between electric field and electric potential. And stuff. So, don't worry, explain derivation very easily. So, if you are understanding everything, so definitely don't forget to give a thumbs up and give motivation for us, and also. So, Nimgen Arthak Thailandre, after you make the notes, everything also comment and let me know that you understood everything and also made the notes. Okay, that's very important. Okay, so let's start with electrostatic potential. And the previous lecture only, I have already explained what is the meaning of electrostatic potential. Uh, electrostatic potential. I think I almost took uh, almost 15 minutes to explain Marini because the concept is very important how to understand what's the meaning of that. And then I also derived other expressions due to point charge all we discussed. So in the previous lectures, we also discussed due to point charge the formula, you know, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught due to Q divided by R and the we discussed about the potential at a distance R. So this formula we derived also is very important. That's what discussed. And also I explained due to system of charges everything in the previous lecture. So E lecture only, you have to watch the previous lecture, understand everything, then come to this lecture to understand these things. Okay. Nantra. So, what is equipotential surface? A very, very simple, very, very uh, you know easy it is. So, let me do this later. Now, first, let's take the first topic that is equipotential surface. As the word says, it's an equipotential. Equ and the equal agarita. So, let's see what are the factors on which potential depends. So, potential at potential at distance r is defined as I mean it depends on the formula is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q divided by r and so he gain out there. He one well r constant. So potential depends on the charge as well as R. So, now the source charge the one Q on the one really source charge. If I'm taking a charge Q, and what happens now? So, this charge, so Q is a constant for a given charge. But if the distance, if I take a distance, it in down 10 centimeter, it in down 10 centimeter. So, if I take distance all over 10, 10 centimeters, all kade, no? all kade potential same. So, all kade, if I take 10, 10 centimeters from this one, everywhere the potential becomes same. I all points of giant marder. That is nothing but equipotential surface. And you know, E point mele because distance alva. So potential depends on Q and R. It depends on material medium and all, but we are keeping everything constant. And the charge constant to your material medium is the other constant to depends only on distance. Okay. So distance in our thing. So at this distance, if I take equal distances, then it is called as what basically at all these points, potential is you know. Constant. It's the same. It is basically I can say if I join all these points, then this is only this is only called as equipotential surface. And the inner if you want a definition for this, it is locus of all the points. It is locus of all the points where the potential is constant, or it is uh, co constant, or it can be zero also. It's okay, zero is also constant. Next, and the you know what is equipotential surface? Equipotential surface is that surface where the, it can be a line or it can be a region also where if you take any two points so the potential is basically constant but the potential difference is zero and then now the illi potential but the illi potential constant alva so you have to constant subtract mother equal for example illu 10 years illu 10 years so 10 minus 10 is zero so equipotential potential surface means what locus of all the points where the po uh, the what is that you can say uh, potential is basically constant or the potential difference between any two points is always zero and it is basically we already know it is for example see there are a lot of things are the equipotential and the, even if we say uh, there is something called as new uh, when you go to this one uh, in your wave optics there is a chapter called wave optics and we have something called as uh, we have something called wave friends wave friends wavelets and the wave friend and the, it is nothing but there only a wave will be in same phase so basically so it is basically nothing but locus of all the points where the wave friends so two waves are in same phase and we will discuss that so don't worry now i'm trying to relate you and we have they study relate so all these points are, are just crust is there so this is a and you know uh so yellow crust crust is there yellow crust crust is there this is called wave friends wave friends and the ultimate actually that will discuss in the chapter called as wave optics and the there so after code so it should be constant so all these points are constant if you draw many no equipotential lines basically it's like circles no so for a given point charge you have equipotential surface as circles it examine cable draw the equipotential surface for an uh, for basically point charge and just nothing but concentric circles because at every point the r is constant distance is constant therefore the potential is constant 
the difference between any these two, any of these two will be always zero that's all about eq potential surface i told you definition as well as the formula and a formula and if r is constant basically v also remains constant for a given q and given epsilon not okay that's all i think this suppose if you in an example usually but they will ask you to draw the eq potential lines and that so if you have basically a, you know a uniform electric field like this then the eq potential you know surface will be you know it's nothing but uh, your case you can imagine like a plate kept like this okay this is what and the distance same it vehicle you have to have it's a three dimensional figure it's nothing but you know sheets and there you go you see your feel is coming like this alwa ing bartha ide alwa so the you know your eq potential surface will be like this like sheets ing irutha actually so that's the one diagram they can ask or they can ask even for you know uh, for you know uh, uh, draw the eq potential eq potential surface for a like charge and like charge they can ask this also i think in the diagram kotti there i'll just tell you the page number you can just know the diagram that will be more than sufficient in the entire tagondaga entire daily page number 60 ali the diagram sell adanu i not write diagram this is one diagram for point charge this is one diagram for this suppose if we take uh, you know like it like eviti so if we take for example uh, for two charges plus and plus tagondaga illa and plus and minus tagondaga ena avuthe anta so obviously plus and plus tagondre so you can see this lines will be somewhat like this inge so it will be like this here it is or something like that will be there you can see the plus and minus tagondaga like this it will be like this somewhat like this so ee diagrams idu alva so these diagrams i have written a normal diagram here so you can see that so this diagrams are given already in your book so just know what is the definition of eq potential surface it's a locus of all the points having potential constant or the potential difference between any two points is zero it's a locus um, one more thing you may not see what is locus sir and that so locus is nothing but it is nothing but it's a path and that locus is nothing but it's a path traced by a point here for example if you want to define so since math till now if you want to define a circle it's a locus of all the points so basically if you want to define a circle locus is nothing but path traced by a point so in a point p one in a point p2 there so i'll tell you I'll ask the point P two. Hey, you P two, you move in such a way that you are always equal distance from the P one. That means it's nothing but circle. Alwa. So under loc, what a circle means? It's a locus of a point which is equal distance from one more point. So then it becomes a circle. Locus under a path traced. So in the math cell, there is a there is a separate chapter called locus. So in the loci and the loci, loci and the loci are the loci and the LTV. There is a separate chapter called as loci and the. so path traced by a point so it's a locus of all the points so it's like it's a path traced by all the points at which the potential difference or the potential is constant at every point or the potential difference is always zero i hope you understood this you know eq potential surface definition and diagrams are important that's all for pc board and the uh, diagrams only idu ondu point charge idu ondu uniform electric field idu ondu bandu like matte unlike charge and okay and once you understood this then we will discuss about the relation between electric field and the potential which is very important okay so next bandu just a minute so coming to next next one this is important derivation for your board exam so relation between the electric field derive a relation between is a question brother namge exam alli so relation between the electric field and electric potential and the question kel the exam it's a very simple very small and very simple derivation so in derivation that's very very simple it is okay so i know the i let me tell very simple you know all the formula right what is the formula for potential formula you know uh, potential formula andre v bandu 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r anta electric field formula you know 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q divided by r square anta neeve yochane maadi iga what is the is r square alwa sorry r square what is the relation now just see this relation you will understand by yourself the relation now in v matte e ide alwa the relation is really so if you just multiply one more one more 1 by r and the potential ide alwa e potential if you multiply one more r 
that means 1 by r you will get electric field alpha so can i say the v into 1 by r is nothing but electric field that's all it is and the v into 1 by r are the distance alpha so or you can say some books only v by d is electric field and cortical d and the distance and that's a very simple design and it already got there angle so you have to remember and this is a very important uh, you know a important result that you have to remember that means the relation between electric field and the electric potential if we also call it as electric field is nothing but it's a potential gradient electric field is defined as a potential gradient gradient and how something changes with respect to distance and that for example uh, anywhere I'll do, we have potential gradient we have some we have like velocity gradient we have like if you take mechanics fluid mechanics we have velocity gradient potential gradient gradient and the change in velocity divided by change in the distance that's called gradient and thing. so okay anyway don't worry about that okay so electric field is about v but it's a very simple alma v is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r and then 1 by r multiply matter i'll get of e so if i multiply v into 1 by i'll get it so e is equal to v by d ide derivation i prove martha we ask ide derivation and we prove martha i'll erase this now i'll just write this derivation so derivation again this can be asked again a poc board exam so now in mat if we are going to take two two electro uh, equipotential surfaces we will consider two equipotential surfaces so you have to follow uh, you know in your diagrams you have to now textbook diagram follow on account then i'm not that good at diagrams but it's okay i'll manage okay now so that means that you know so anyway so let us take two equipotential surfaces these are two equipotential surfaces so in order let us take this as surface a surface b and then uh, let's take this this is voltage v and voltage v plus uh, dv and the so in textbook a lot of i think they have taken this as v plus dv this as v somewhere and they have taken some negative sign and all not required so what i'm telling you just you understand that will be easy and here it is uh so electric field is going in this direction this is like electric field okay so this is why you have taken this diagram and yeah the textbook in mind right only v plus dv v plus delta v thawne right only v and thawne right actually then they have uh they have uh, they have taken something of minus delta v and the so they have taken negative on the so what i'm doing that's not required one input could always so always remember this it is v alpha it is v plus delta t alpha so electric field always will be in the direction of decreasing potential and you need 10 volts it do only 7 volts in the electric field will be from 10 volts to 7 volts you know it's only able both actually so for example imagine electric field and is good this is very important for a competitive exam so derivation and then derivation you know both the direct derivation and then formula could put a movie this is very simple derivation are the understanding is very important okay imagine what could be it is electric field in alpha imagine this electric field line okay so if I, if I bring charge at this point, at this point, your source charge is imagine is here. So your source charge electric field is here. Okay. Now you have point P at the point. Point just imagine I brought it to point A and then at point B. Now you work more. So if I bring a charge like this, so I have to do some work here, but I have to do more work to this point. No. And the only potential V is here. Only potential V plus delta V is here. So I'm going so electric field is in the direction of decreasing potential this point is very important so usually uh the case it will question kelly that so in that you can get the answer by understanding these things okay so now anyway so that's not required for puc board so but then that's the reason why i have taken here v plus delta v and here v and i'll not put any minus delta v now okay in the derivation so i'll remove this i'll remove this and uh, I hope you understood. This is at higher potential, this is at lower potential. So, because electric field is in this direction, this is higher potential, this is lower potential. Okay, so it's very simple. Now, imagine so, so consider it two, two equipotential surfaces A and B as shown in the figure. The potential of A is V, potential of B is V plus delta V. Delta V is small change, and the distance between them is delta L, delta L, small DL. Okay. I am moving a charge. Let a charge Q is moved from B A to B or B to A to B. I am moving from V to delta V. So a charge Q is moved from where to where? From A to B it is moved. A charge Q is moved from A to B. So work done in moving the charge from A to B 
is W that is given by work done formula you know force into displacement what is the displacement between these two charges that is delta L so here force formula you know for F is equal to we want in terms of electric field see we are trying to relate by you know get the relation between electric field and the potential V so so I write force in terms of electric field we know that electric field is given by F divided by Q whereas F is equal to EQ so F is equal to EQ so now in Martini EQ formula is substitute Martini again out the work done no so work done becomes E into Q EQ into DL the first equation the one now so this is what so and also we know that we know that the potential so what is this potential is equal to work done by quantity of charge moved this is also we know one more equation so this is the equation that we know it arthai alva ee game is very simple you already got the answer okay you just see work is equal to eq dl alva illi work is in bartha illi you are getting dwq just substitute this in this equation and then you know in work place i'll put uh, delta v into q that must be equal to e into q into dl again out q q cancel agutte so E must be equal to you get it as what dv by dl. So dv by dl. So the electric field is equal to dv by dl. So in the book line, they will put negative here. They say electric field is decrease in direction of. And then they will put v plus delta v. Obviously, you get this as negative here. So electric field, always remember that. Since I have taken in this way, no need actually. Okay. So V. So always remember electric field is in the di direction of decreasing potential. So E is equal to, this is only gradient it is. So the change in dV by dL, you know, change in potential divided by the change in the gradient. This is a potential uh, gradient in LT actually. You get del delta V by delta L. Okay, no? That's all. Okay. That becomes like 8. Okay. It's very simple. So in exam, it's very simple derivation. You are just assuming two potential surfaces and you are moving a charge from A to B and the work done the moving the charge you just have to write the expression for work done. This is the expression work done but work expression should be converted in terms of uh, you know uh, in terms of electric field because work done the force and the and then the electric field ex expression because F is equal to E is equal to F by Q. Already explained this completely in the previous lectures and the only substitute mark and then I say work done. We also know one more formula that potential is equal to work done by quantity of charge mode. In the other formula is marked on, you can see E is equal to dV by dL. In, in, in general, in pit code, you have E and the you know, electric field is equal to V divided by dL. You know, in pit code, that will be more than sufficient. So that's the relation between electric field and the potential. So I hope you understood. And then uh, let's go in the next, ne let's see in the next, ne next lecture, we discuss about uh, the potential energy and all, okay? And see in the next lectures. And in the artha agidre, don't forget to put a you know, like and then uh, comment if you have any doubts. Now, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.